We're 15 kilo heavy, roger, 7 miles from Zal, both third Iowa, from like 2 2 left approach. Okay, yeah, uh, could be our left, 2 2 left, could be third, 15 kilo. Hello, flight simmers. Welcome to a new series that I've decided to actually create. Or have a go at. I'm going to do a full flight today. Or should I say, a small little flight in just now in 10 minutes. But anyway, as I said, I'm Posty Pat, aka. Patrick, or Pat, however you call me, and I present you with the KLM Royal Dutch Airlines 100th Anniversary Edition. Papa Hotel, Bravo, Charlie Alpha for today. Aircraft that's been in a fleet for a bit in KLM. Been photo photographed in places like Barcelona, I think Prague and Budapest, and mostly in like the basic Canary Islands and stuff like that. Aircraft has been actually quite heavily used by KLM. Um, yeah, as I said, hour and ten minutes for today. We are flying from Amsterdam to Christiansund, a small southern airport in Norway. Quite beautiful scenic rival into there. Mountainous and a lot of for forest, forest streamed. It's beautiful. Um, this flight is actually a real world flight. Apart from the aircraft that doesn't operate actually on this flight. It would be a KLM Hopper flight. Um, operated by an Embraer 175. Would normally actually depart out one of these gates and then fly to Christian. So the uh, departure time we would have on the flight that I've decided to choose would be 16.25 and it would arrive at Christian so at 17.35 meaning it would be an hour and 10 minutes thereabouts. Let's see if we make it, I don't know. We are on a quick aircraft so yeah, we just have to pretend that the 737 had, you know, had to be, I don't know, re redone. Or should I say, re, re embedded into this flight. Due to the fact that the Embraer, I don't know, had some kind of issues or something like that. Use our imagination, guys, but yeah. Today, rear world uh, uh, flight number is KLM 1209, and our call sign will be KLM 470, which is actually the rear world call sign they use in real life. Yeah, we're going to close in a minute. Give me a sec, GSX. As you can see, K2 is just finished. We're going to get boarding underway. Right. I will catch up with you in the flight deck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the flight deck of the Boeing 737-800 KLM. Right, because GSX is going to start screaming at me, we're going to close these doors. And we're going to go into here. Yo. Uh, I'm going to show you the flight plan actually for today. There we go. That's the flight plan somewhere thereabouts. So, we are taking 6,547 tons. Which are the kilos actually. 6,547 kilos of block fuel or weed. Uh, 3,060 kilos for the trip. Hour and 10 minutes. We've got all our alternate fund reserves and the extra 15 minutes that we always need. Uh, runway with the departure for today will be 27. There won't be one, uh, Charlie. It won't be one of those. It was going to be 27 out of, I think, Adrab or something like that. Um, and then Adik, November 873. Insoles direct to Am7 and Am7 2 Lima 03, which is also not true. We're going to be running to a different runway. As the winds are a bit different, Christian. But we figure it out up in the sky. We're going to change over that bit. Today we're taking 174 passengers with a payload of 18.2 tons. Zero fuel to 59.8, which I guess we're pretty light. Six and a half tons, as we already discussed with the fuel. Take away of 66.2 tons. Normal said, normal taken out. Maybe the question is not free, but. Yeah, as I said, KLM 1209 and KL, in, in the remax, as you can see, I put the real course on KLM 470 if anyone ever wants to fly this, the KLM hopper. That's the real world course sign they use. Kind of cool. I'm going to drop this flight plan for you guys in the description so you guys actually can use it if you want to. Sort of to you, you know, all up to you. Right, before we actually get underway, clouds are working. Very good. It's like the sky working. Active sky is working, very good. Um, in that case then, what we are going to do is load this fuel. Sorry about the cutting as well, the noise bomb is going to be doing that. Uh, 6,500 tons, we're going to do payload of zero fuel, which we're just going to do at 59.8. Yeah, the slab is amazing with this when it comes to like the whole load of it. There we go. Right, we are going to actually get it pulled in the way. But for some reason, boarding is kind of broke. I don't know. My jetways are not really connecting up. But hey, 
It just, I don't know. It just doesn't work. I have to sort out people having this issue. Post in it. We're going to go to, um, we are at, uh -huh, where the gate won't work. So we're going to go left, GPS position for the IRS is to align. There we go. And then route, co route, which I say company route. Uh -huh. To E. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. What? I forgot. Oh, oh. oh, there we go. Echo November. Charlie November. First of Flanders is actually going to be interesting. There we go. All in. Flight number is KLM. No. 1, 2, 3, 9. We're going to be flying on Vatsim, ladies and gentlemen, today. As discussed, runway 27 for departures. We're going to go to departures. We're going to be taking a runway to 7. And I think it was... Berg? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like that. Very good. Uh, we're just going to start that into there. Activate. Execute. Lovely jubbly. IRS is still aligning. Are they actually... Do I even put the... Um, into align mode? Yeah, they're aligning. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to get boarding on the way then, I guess, guys. Because, I mean, we don't have enough time. This, this, well, as I said, the parts are 16, 25. And we're going to have to get this underway. 174 into here, like that. Yeah, we're having jetways operating. Yeah, we know, but it's going to be broken anyway. Oh, we're going to get some calculations into here, though. Performance. Uh, we are at Aham. Everyone's like, well, Jesus Christ, you must be doing this the backwards. Probably all the people do it, like... After they've done like the whole N1 pickup limits and all of that, you know, you get the jazz. Two seven a runway take off. Actually, we can take take off one. Flap config out of here will be. We can actually take flaps one if we really want, but we're going to do standard flaps. Bike air conditioning will be on and the eyes will be off. Very very good. Passengers are boarding. Yep, no sorry visual. And look, it's going to skip through the passengers. It is so weird. I know how to fix this to be fair. It's the only issue I have GSX here. Oh, they're literally completely now for 2.7. So we are definitely taking 2.7 out of here. Because the truth is, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I have to re-record this. Well, not pre-record this, but re-record this again. As I kind of forgot to record the sound. I'm hoping it's recording another sound. Outside air temperature of 5. QNH is 1007. There we go. IRS is aligned. Lovely. Performance page, boink into that, 6.5 tons actually, so get your facts right, please. Uh, fine reserves, war 2.5, see, boarding apparently is done, even baggage looks to be loaded, but okay, uh, 23, 3.50, winds for cruise, 2.64, at 30. These IRS are definitely not aligning at the right time. We're gonna I just feel like they're a bit too quick. Now we're gonna execute that into there. We're gonna be taking climb two. But full power. Double click on my mouse because it's breaking, of course. There we go. We're gonna do 29.3. What was the takeoff weight? I don't know. Uh, takeoff weight of uh, 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 66.2. Like that, and then 29.3 into here. Very nice. Very number three, verify, check, calculate these aircraft. Hey, engine 3841, 147. 38, 141. What the hell is going on here? Stop double clicking, mouse. 140. Oh, use. Come on, mouse. Yeah, guys, just you have to bear with me with the mouse clicking. Oh, we're also gonna. Oh, wow, I didn't do the one thing though. Oh, no way, I haven't done that. That's poor for me. Which is the select temperature, which is currently over here. 38. Yep, take off speeds of air. Uh, deleted, of course they are. Oh, you. 138, 1 for 1. Oh, now let me guess the climb power isn't set. Oh my goodness me. Was there ever a day this was going to go smooth? No. Not, not, 
not on P3's watch, as they say. Uh, we don't need this, but what we are going to do, actually, we should be filling this out, but, yeah, it's like runway heading and the wind is all that blah, blah, blah. So we've got this. It is good. I'm ready and steady to go. Um, what's happening with the baggage? Hello? KLM. They're already coming just now. Oh, yeah, goodness me. Okay, we're going to set the speeds up then, I guess. I'm going to set the aircraft a little bit. Uh, okay, 153. 52. How about that? 267. Oh, 263. We're going to check that in a minute. No, 267. We're going to go straight up to climb. There we go. Flick one. Flick number two. Like that. 2000. Verify. Put that there. Like that for now. Yeah. Easy peasy. I will get back to you, I think, guys, once this boarding is done, I guess. Even though my boarding is actually done, but, you yeah. know. Can we actually operate this jetway so I actually move that away, please? What? Boarding to be complete. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, they say. Is it? Oh, we forgot to connect to one thing, guys. Oh, sugar. The V pilot. Man, darn it. Is anyone in, in the vicinity of my aircraft? Do you have any controllers in the vicinity of my aircraft? London controllers on mine. That, that's about where it ends. Let me, let me check this weather here. It's active. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, it's kind of scattered. I like the clouds, man. I like P3D. Beautiful sim. Also, I like x not gonna lie. You know, I'm a bit fanatic of both. Look at this amazing. KLM uh, Engineering and Maintenance and also Transavia next to it. I think oh, that's Transavia over here. Also, so I think that's another one over there. Very nice. Yeah, look at that. Another another KLM. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big, big pop out. Oh, some wrong man's here. I don't know what the hell is going on over there. Jesus Christ, they have names as well. That's so cool. Anthony Fokker. Regional Jet Tent Mountain. Martin Air. Jet Carrier, sorry. Martin Air. Anything else? Oh, look at that. Mendes Aviation. Martin Air Cargo. Oh, look at that! Is it specific stand for Martin Air? Oh my god. Well, there we go. We've got some ideas for the more flights. What's that one over here? Hmm. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. It's City Hopper. KLM. What a beautiful aircraft. Any aircraft over here? Oh, that's the icing pad. Amazing. Nah, we don't need aircraft here, actually. Kind of sad. But yeah. Oh, no, yeah, 67%, nearly done. Okay, we're gonna, well, in that case, then we're gonna get the AP, right? Like. Do a damper left. Ah. Uh, uh, we're gonna put the seat bikes on. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's put this back into here. AP is starting. Hit heat can come on. Probe suits can come on. These can come off. These can go up to 350. Lovely jubbly. This, 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 and that, he says. Boarding is completed. In that case, then, jetway, get out the way. Just get out. Oh, my lord. Jetway, where are you going? There we go, good. Good jetway. Oh, my lord. Who is recording this mean? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, now that this is completed, then, we're going to close with the doors and get on the way into Christian Sun, as I think. Close. Close. Uh, it's closing. APU should be alive in a minute. There it is. EGT is just coming down now and below 4 is going to be alive. He says. There we go, nice and set. Um, APU can come on. That can come on. I can break a set. We can disconnect all of these bits. Left. Yes, I know, I know. Oh, they're closing now, what the hell? There we go, we're gonna push and stop. Very nice. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. QH, local QH is uh, 1007, which is checked. 
we have actually left entry close. Uh, sorry, what? We're going to have to open it up and close it back in. Jeez, X, really going to do this to me? There we are, lovely. Should work now. Uh, we're going to flip this to TA only now. Hello, Captain. So we're ready for pushback. Get motion. Very good. I love this Sato Pilot console. Lovely. Looks so... So stylish. Look at that. But yeah. Uh, locking gear. He's locking the gear. Very good. Let's have a look. Are we locking the gear? What a beautiful aircraft though. I love the KLM livery to be fair. I'm not a big fan of that flying KLM, but delivery alone. The flying Dutchman, yeah. Alright, uh, we're gonna go right. Parcher check completed. Bypass bin inserted. Release parking. Let me verify uh my APUs are alive. Yes here it is. Ready some parking brake for you. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start of can also come on now. There we go. Pumps are on. Block time. It's on. Um, these are all verified. Yep, APU is verified. All good. All uh, right, and to ground. There we go. Now let's verify this. And two is rising. There we go. So we got some end one rotation moment. Lovely jubbly. Twenty percent and two fuel in. There we go. Let's have a look at the other side. How is it going? Amazing, amazing, amazing. And there we go. And one rotation. And EGT is rising. And two is rising as well, which is very good. Let me step up a drink because my throat is <coughs> dry now. Set parking brakes. Set parking brakes. There you go, mate. Waiting your confirmation for good engine start. Good engine start, you want your more confirmation, are you? There we go. I do like GSX a lot, though. I've never been a close to be verified that could come on. There we go. Uh, I'll see you as well, that comment. Oh, flight shook off. Very nice. 20% and fuel rotation, and that fuel is in. There we go, EGT is rising, and M1 as well. Very nice. One thing we forgot to do is we do like bike test lights, but I'm not sure to do that one. So good. Now we're professional. Now we're uh, going back to like, the whole taxi in. It's, it's going to be Alpha 9, Bravo, Echo 4, November 1, holding point, and then runway 27 for departure. We're going to put this on as well. And now it's engine 2 is alive. Left is clear. Oh. Right is clear. That's the wood. Uh, packs, so we can get some maybe, you know, aircon in. Electro 1 and 2 on. It's gonna roll. Let's go back into normal continuous. Very, very good. Just verify that gens are both working. Very good. Ah, there we go, he's walking away now. Bye bye. Where's he going? I don't want to shine him in the, my lights, so I don't want to turn him on. Come on. George. It's the George. They have like a little blackets and whatever, but they are going to be. Oh, okay, there he's going. Okay, in that case, then. Uh, lights are on. Taxi lights are verified to be on. No fuel in the center. We'll check. Lovely jubbly. I'm going to verify flaps. Bye. What is what he's asking? Prepare for my speeds. There we go, flaps are going down. Okay, what we are going to do is go check this now. Left. Right. Neutral. Pull up. Neutral. Oh, maybe not. I'm going to be now. Pull down. Neutral. Right or full left. Pull right. Neutral. And then that can be tested as well. Yep, nothing there. No warnings, no master caution warnings. We can turn these tablets off for now. Very good. And let's get this show on the road. Fucking breaks with these. There we go.
go. And we are connecting the vaccine, so once you do this in it should be active, which isn't. We're going to get our clearance out the way. Amsterdam traffic in level 47 Sulu, taxi by Alpha 9 Bravo Echo 4 to hold a point one way, 27 November 1. Amsterdam traffic. There we go, there we go. Now that's out the way. We are pretty much ready to rumble. We spent a 36 meters, look at that. Okay, uh, block time is also running, which is good. The Boeing is a bit harder to set up than the Airbus. I have to remember a bit more about all the things. Which I should be using the checklist to be fair. That should be the reality of it, but the reality is I'm not using the checklist, which is not good. Which is not good. There we go, we're going to put these sounds up for you guys, a little bit. I think that should be fine, actually. I'm hoping that the... Um, you know, you can hear me and it was the that's what I'm trying to say here. There we go. I've got a taxi here for you. Look at my other box. I'm just blocking this. Not what should be happening here. This is not what a pilot would do, would he? He wouldn't be looking at his other co pilot, would he? Oh, officer, first officer. We're going to take a Echo Force uh, to the right. That's what the other one's going to do. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, it's getting a bit louder. Hello. Stop getting loud. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello again. We're going to have to shoot the bugs. We're going to hit the stroke lights as well, because we're going to be entering the runway. I think we actually also have to put some mini speed on them. I'm not sure though, but I'm, I know that I'll definitely have to put the stroke lights on. I don't think you actually is mandated to put the landing lights on. I'm not sure. I think it's actually some final or something like that. I don't know, actually, an expert. Okay, verify left is clear. Right is clear. I'm going to set the runway pass. Be fair, if anyone was landing we'll make a new comment as most likely. There we go. There we go, now that these are on, we pass the runway and show to go back into where they were. Very nice. We're gonna go straight out of here. As I know there's no traffic here. Should be a relatively cool departure actually. Get some nice cinematic shots for you guys and then I'm gonna we're gonna like level 120 we're gonna I'm gonna come back in. The flight deck. There we go, look at that. Look at those. This is where we're going to be coming after our landing at Christiansen to um, check our landing gear. Top oh, joke, Martina. I love Martina. I've got some 7 as well, so Martina, I should try that in theory. Yeah, it's kind of annoying me, he's buggering me, these jetways, man. They're annoying me. Jesus Christ, where am I swinging off to? Okay, we're gonna get TIR on, so I don't forget that. Also, what we are gonna do, we're gonna put some weather on. Yeah, I don't forget it's any weather time, so we're here. Martin now. Yeah, if you hear those, I'm pausing, because I'm pausing out of the scene. I do actually fix this, you can't tell how to fix this. I'm not playing full screen, I think it's not. It's playing window mode, that's what fixes the issue. At least I'm hoping that's the issue. I'm going to take a left here. On to November 1, holding point, which we're not even going to hold out, we're going to put a landing lights on. We're going to do a roll and take a while, actually. There we go, lights could come on. Go, cabin crew. Seats for departure. There we go. Mm -hmm. TRA is set. Landing lights are on. Auto brake is set to RTO. Flaps 5 are set. Check the flight controls and also QNH is set as well for departure. We are ready. I'm ready for computer for departure, ladies and gentlemen. Let's enter runway 27. Amsterdam traffic. Kaylan, full seven Zulu. Enter runway 27 for a straight out departure. I'm still jumping. Very nice. What's your fighting bonus coming out? Yeah, we're going to be in traffic. Delta 1349, 10 mile final, ILS 1800. Oh, it's 18. 
a 10 mile swirl, which is far. We could get out of here before you get to the five minutes mile range. Okay. There we go. Clock has started. Get this show on the road, ladies and gentlemen. So there is a neck of arrival. There we go, 50%. Let's get rid of those puppies up. Get the camera fixed up. There we go. To be 50% stable, Toga. Press this set, as speed is alive. Got some pressure on that stick, actually. Kind of an average trick to be better, didn't it? Release the pressure. Go back to Albia. V1. Rotate. V2. Oh, it's amazing. Come on, gear up. We're going to do the bright shot, there we go. Have a little shot. Maybe he's not going to be able to do shots at the moment. Oh, there he is, look, he's a final. We might be able to see him, maybe. We'll take a final one in our life. He actually should be able to see him. He said 187, right? Maybe let's clean up the aircraft a little bit. Oh, actually, never mind. The aircraft's pitching up a whole like mad amounts of um, pitch. Um, no, I don't see him. I think he's going to be breaking through the clouds soon. No, I don't see him. It's very loud. cloud. He's a bit off. Far away from us. Oh, look at this beautiful. Amsterdam. Speed check, clocks. Oh, shit, with me. Ooh, learn my language. That could go back to off blocks. Blocks up. Oh, what is that? Fabulous. Oh, there he is. I hope I just spotted a slight someone. No, I didn't. Oh, there we go. It's not a bad pressure at all. There we go. I will cover up too. Oh, there's just someone behind me now. I want to find this guy's guy, guys. Where is this dude? He said it's blinding, but where? He lied. There's a counter as well. He's not going to do that for a long, long time. He said long, it's only the US. Maybe he's landing another one. Please, let's not find this guy. I mean, by now it's probably touched down. Okay, 6,000 feet. We can get the Amsterdam traffic of a 1349, one mile final. I left 18 center Amsterdam. Oh, 18 center. One mile final, what the hell? This is 18 center. Is it? Oh, wow, it's too far. I'm going to the rain. Hello? Oh, this, this is a fabulous, this is a bunch of stuff. To the flight deck, right? We have begun. Right, we have begun. We're actually going through flight level 120 right now. They sent down to Christian Sund. Um, I'll show you the approach really quickly. There we go. We're taking the AMSEF to Lima, which is here. There we go, right here. Quite simple, actually. It's like a left, right hand turn, and another right hand turn to accept uh, uh, set zero 03. Transition altitude is 7,000. It should be transition level, but I'm just going to change transition altitude first because there's no ATC. Uh, approach zero three, which is the ILS, looks exactly like that. Coming in from this one here, it, it produces our initial approach fix. And then on to a right heading of zero three three. One one zero three five. We're going to check that into there quickly. Zero three five. Checked. We're going to flick all our lights on, 10,000 feet. 
Lo perdí. Sí, pasa que varión. Uh, we're gonna be taking auto break free as you can see in a minute. I will show you. I've done all the calculations already via descent, so for the landing weight and all of that. So it's given us an en route landing weight for six. This is our basic landing weight. This is 3,200 kilos. We approach the flaps 30. We're gonna be taking for a runway of 2,032 meters, 151 knots, which should give us a lot of space just in case of running or well, just over floating it basically. So we're gonna go into. So, I feel like this aircraft is a bit too high. Flaps 30. One hundred fifty-one knots. Beautiful and zero three and three and of course goes another. I'm gonna give us some speed break where he's sending. Also we've got anti ice on. As it is only um somewhere around two degrees at the moment. Oh god, go away. Let's go shot off the outside view. There we go. Maybe we can open up that speed brake window a little bit more. Just so it keeps us sending down by the path. There we go. Nearly 7,000. Why is this not off? Very weird. So we have ILS frequencies in. Very good. Okay, we're gonna open up the speed rate completely. And I'm actually gonna take manual speed over here. There we go. And then bug it down. I, I want to slow down as quickly as possible due to the fact that um, these are sharp turns over here, Jesus Christ, my aircraft isn't coping. Give it 30 degrees maximum um, amount of rotation. She's nice to slow down. There's a speed break. There we go. And then Norway's coming in to view right now. We're going to be out of moisture. Just feel it won't fly into one of these clouds still. As there is um, 6,800 feet scattered clouds, 7,000 feet check standard biometric pressure. Oh, it's on both sides, I forgot. There we go. Now we're going to have to open the speed brake window again, not an issue. It's not that much. Beautiful. We're gonna take the cabin so they're ready for the arrival as well. As we're not too far away, probably like around seven or eight minutes away from landing. There we go. Christian Sund or Christian Sand is coming into view right now. Why is auto brake max oh like star? It's auto brake free, please. From here onwards we're gonna go speed check, collapse one. Give it a little more drag, actually we're gonna go speed check. Oh, no bump starts. Flap to two. There we go, we've got some we're on the glycer for the moment, which is good. Slow down even more. I'm gonna set the run my heading. Just because if I go around, go around and choose 3,000 feet. I do not know why we are not descending, so we are going to be using vertical speed for further descent of this aircraft.
Yeah, I'm gonna speed record right now. Won't be needed now anymore. We're slow enough. Let's give us a lot of time anyway to slow down. There we go, Christian soon is coming into life over there. And it's all loading in now. Meaning status are present. It's the thing with all back sceneries. I'm getting a lot of stars with them, I don't know why. Jesus, the stars are coming in badly now. Go still descending nicely, very good. Oh, come on, why did you go at vertical speed? Below the glass, which is good, it'll be easy to capture it, and we will begin a right hand turn. There we go, the island of Christians, which is like the, the beautiful Norway's coming in. Look at this sensational landing! No, oh, a little bit of a starter, let all of it load in. There she is, 3,000 feet is basically checked. And aircraft should begin the right hand turn anytime now. There we go, aircraft is beginning the right hand turn. Look at that. Bit bit bumpy into here. Be like. Yeah, my computer's not having a good time right now. We're not going to slow down to find our approach speed yet. This story is kind of annoying. We're also going to record like stream. Very weird, guys. All we can do is a um, on the approach. And speed check, flaps 5. Slow it down. Remember, when we're 51 knots. Yes, I know, auto throttle. Yeah, she is slowing down. Speed is coming back. Oh, look at this. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, this landing is beautiful into Christian Sund. Single channel, which is good. Speed check, flaps turn. Yeah, a bit bumpy into Christian Sund. Okay, 160 knots. There we go. Single channel is captured, the localizer is captured also, very good. Approach should be captured in a minute, as soon as the glide slope comes in, the glide slope is captured, green. Gear down. A bit far out, 18 to miles, but hey, I can see the runway ready, so it's just over the distance. Yeah, the, the aircraft is not having fun at the moment, recorrecting for the wind. 14 knots, gusting from the rear. Speed check, flaps 15. Slow it down. Look at that, the approach to Christian Sund. Speed check, flaps 25. Oh. Beautiful. Absolutely. Speed check, flaps 30. Speed break is on. Okay, okay. That's because captured it. Okay, very nice. Uh, right, so landing checklist, ladies and gentlemen. Landing lights are on. Engine time to continue. A speed break is on. Flaps 30, green. Landing gear is down. Free green. Auto brakes. Tip 3 is set. Landing checklist complete. Also, cabin is dinged as well, which that makes the line of check is definitely complete. Alright, let's have a little look from there. A bit annoying with these cameras, I don't know why. It's the way when I, when, it, when, when I change the camera, it just goes really weird. Odd. Look at that. Spectacular. There she is. The island. What should I say? The 
Let me see, that's when they'll go. 2,200, 2,023 meters long one or something like that. Tiny. Not tiny, but yeah, it's quite small. Beautiful approach there. 1,000 checked. Oh, we didn't do one thing, guys. This is really unprofessional now. Decision height. Just 279. There we go. Just in time. Oh, shouldn't have done a lot though. Okay. Um, we can play this out. Okay, and auto photos out as well. My aircraft. Oh, dropping off a little bit. We correct it. We're back on the puppies. Looking good. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Continue. Third pointing. Ten. Oh, what? We're going around. Oh, it's a rate of climb. Gear up. We're going around, there's no chance we're getting up. Flaps are going up. Just accelerate her up. So do not, there we go. B now, out enough. Command A is on. Flow with that out, okay. Speed check, flaps fine. Can't be landing like that, can we? What the is going on here? Speed check. Flaps up. I don't know, overshot the aircraft, look at that. The hell? I was holding these. Auto as well. And what we are going to do is probably re uh, file in the flight plan. I'll bet you the arrival into there. But we're going to go from the initial approach fix. There we go. Oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Erase. Alright, let's free. Uh, AMSA, Iponos, go. Right, let's have a little look. Right, what we are going to do, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go to turn right, head and select. There we go. Yeah, like that. Exactly, we're going to really basically accept the path. Everything is staying as it is. Very good. Wasn't expecting that, ladies and gentlemen. Wasn't expecting to go around. Way slower, that way too long. We're also going to get new calculations for our landing. As our weight is going to be different. So we're going to have to do that as well. Yep, there she is. Okay, we can go into VNAV profiling. I meant lateral navigation, sorry. There we go. Can accelerate to 240 knots, which isn't all that good to me. I don't really want to go that, like that, but hey. Okay, we're going to reconfigure quickly. We're going to change the weight, probably. Just going to change to. We would have landed earlier as well. Oh, actually, we would have been landed. Yeah, actually, we would have been on time. So we're going to take 0.1 off there, 
We calculate that. 150 knots now, plus 30. Oh god. FPS just died. Get a localizer armed. I feel like we slow down a little bit too quick again now. I need to get the approach again, guys. Always positives. Our vector is awful. If our localizer should come in, yeah, it's already it's gonna be captured in a minute. Is captured. Now what we are going to do is hit approach. This closer will be coming in soon. Good. Right, so there we go. It's going to be late. Actually, we're going to be late because as um, she arrives in five minutes, it should be arriving. Right. We depart off uh, a bit earlier. Off. Get down. Jesus Christ, the glider was completely off again. The yeah, aircraft will slow down low enough. Don't put it on the speed brakes, there we go. Engine 70 knots, 20 knots to go. Up 75. Please send someone once again over here. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Oh, wow, it wasn't stirring. I need to fix that. I don't know what's happening. And flaps 30. There we go. Landing. Flaps are set. Okay, landing checkers once again. Auto brake is free, landing gear free, green. Flaps 30, green. Speed brake is armed. Landing lights are on, engine continuous is set. Let's go around out to 3000, climbing on runway heading, which is set into there. Oh, stop starting game. You've got three minutes to arrive and not actually. Okay, we're going to disconnect the autopilot. Click. Okay, okay. My thrust. Oh, we're getting pushed a little bit. I've glided up as well. Not our biggest issue though. Know. Uh, we can pick up that bit. Oh, God, jeez, we're getting pushed it once again to the left. Really? There's supposed to be no winds. Now we're going, now we're going back on. Oh. Too white, too red. Oh. Approaching minimums. 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 Check. Continue. Fifty, 40, 30, 
20, 10. Reverse green. Spoilers are up. Oh, 60 knots. Reverse is stowed. Manual breaking. Oh, once again, that mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Christian Sud after an hour and 24 minutes. Oi, oi, oi. I feel like it's the airport that takes the FPS. Look at that. Look at Jesus. Jesus. How starry is it going to get? Wow, that's quite amazing. Now it's starting like that in P3D. Literally, what the hell? I need to verify the files, I guess. Okay, we're going to put the... Back in. This is weird, I don't know why it's happening. So much stars. Never had that much stars on any scene in P3D, this is awful. That would have been a never go around to be fair. Look what this sound is. Okay. We got some taxi charts. We're gonna take Charlie on the right over here. Oh, I missed Charlie because I decided to look at flipping. My clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to vocate the runway and clean up a little bit. Nice apple though, I really, really like this. It's heavy on FPS, which I'm not happy about. Especially when I'm recording, it just kills the FPS completely. Look at that. This is just jittery. I don't know why. It's the apple being like this now. Get okay, what we are going to do then is get rid of these lights. APU's alive. We got some GSX. We're going to go to gate 1 3. No. Norwegian Air Shuttle, I guess. Get back on the center, man. I don't know if I should be... I'm, I'm not actually happy about this, to be fair. All for landing, and this jittery FPS is annoying me. Probably have to verify the files and make some adjustments in the FTX. But yeah, we are down somehow. With an awful landing. What are these cars doing here? These ground vehicles are annoying. They're literally in my way. No wonder I'm going to have my solo FPS at this airport. Oh, we're going to bottle this up. Oh, we actually have that. Ah. He's inside the flipping terminal. What the hell? It's quite interesting, actually. There we go. I can break a set. I can break a set. And you want it to off. Bleeds. Oh. And left and right back can't come off. Okay, let's verify anti rotation quickly. If it's less than 20%, we can. Yeah, deboard the aircraft. Poor FPS, don't you? I'm not happy. Not happy at all. 
right there. What can I do? Okay, there we go. Seat belts are off. E current is off. Back to that should have turned off four, but AO, there we go, turn those off. I'll put it the deep boarding on. Like that. Oh well, I see anti ice on as well. Actually to be fair it was two degrees. But we should have turned it off before we turned the engines off, but hey. Been a disaster of an absolute landing as well. Yeah, it's quite hard as well. It's quite harsh. Open those and open the doors up as well so people can deboard these aircraft. But stop the block time, which is an hour and thirty eight minutes. Do the click on run again. Yeah, I did that Okay, uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna reset these for you. Our crew to come in when they come in here. There we go. Let's set this to zero, 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 like that, like zero, zero, like that. And then, uh, it's just standard QH. There we go, and then reset. Down to zero. Okay, okay. It's off. People should be deboarding in a minute. Pit them. Stop. Yeah, um, we're gonna do a flight back though. So, yeah. Maybe doing a snow actually, in no shuttle. Look at that. Woo! There we go. Harsh landing, but yeah. This is one we took most parts. To be fair, the speed was so like, high. I, just, I don't know, I think I overflowed it completely. Pulled pull too much pitch on the stick, and yeah. And look at that, the board in the aircraft. Lovely jubbly. Well, anyway. Yeah, after <laughs> a rocky landing into Christian Sand and the go around, I mean. We've made it, and a bit of jitters. We've made it. <laughs> yeah, I try to fix the jitters for the next flight. But yeah, there we are. Aircraft is being deboarded right now. Looking good. Anyway, anyhow, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, I'll probably be uploading more videos. As I kind of enjoyed this, to be fair. I'm just going to have to edit this up, clean it up. But yeah, I'm going to be hopping off. Alright, so I need to go to bed. So, all of you have a good one. Uh, happy flying, and I see you in the next one. See ya.